The act was passed without adequate and meaningful public participation. So when they're making law, the public has to really be involved, more especially people who are concerned. But we saw during the hearings of the committee and uh, during the times the bill was under discussion that not even a single LGBT person was basically uh, before the committee to have their views heard. And this, this is a law that affects them directly. We are also challenging the law because during the second and third readings of the bill, both on 21st of March and on 2nd May of 2023, the Speaker's conduct clearly showed bias. The Speaker clearly made statements that showed that she was in favor of passing this law. And yet the Speaker is supposed to be basically impartial when handling parliamentary sessions. But beyond the issues of procedure that we've highlighted, the Bishop also makes it clear that the bill is blatantly unconstitutional. We are going to wait for the court to give us this date. We are going to basically serve the Attorney General, then the Attorney General will respond, and then we see how to proceed from there. That's the court to determine.